Hi YouTube, this is Lewis from Sky Blue. We are here in Cape Canaveral today. We're doing uh, a refit for a, an outboard powered uh, catamaran. And uh, we'll put the specs up here in a moment. But um, we're doing four E163 uh, batteries from E-Propulsion with uh, the E-Propulsion Navy Evo uh, 6. So those are 10 horsepower equivalents. Um, we're going to start doing more videos on our repowers. Uh, we've done quite a few over the years, uh, but we never kind of really highlight them. So folks don't really know that we do it. But um, yeah, we're, we're available not only to sell you the e-propulsion equipment, but we're also happy to uh, do the install uh, or repower if you need it. Uh, so let's get uh, going here. Here's, uh, we have four batteries here um, and we're here on install day and we're going to shoot some clips in between we won't do the full install because <clears throat> the customer is working on the boat as well so uh, I don't think they're inclined to uh, to be on YouTube so we'll, we'll just do bits and pieces and put it all together and uh, we'll do a follow-up video with uh, performance on the boat um, that, those are always a, the, the fun ones because you get to learn uh, what the, the electric propulsion really does and what your run times really are and what you can expect on similar boats. Um, we'll, we'll probably also do a full uh, report for, um, for e-propulsion which will be posted on uh, their website as well. And uh, if you're not aware, at the bottom of the website, if you go to epropulsion.com, there is uh, a whole bunch of bulletins on the performance of the uh, boats with the different um, configurations um, with the exception of maybe the X the new X series uh, may not have something posted yet but just about everything else all the Navy 3 Navy 6 uh, the different pods so all right let's get started and we'll uh, go ahead and show you the different snippets that we'll probably do show you kind of where the batteries are going to be installed, where the chargers are going to be installed, uh, some of the, the removal of the old motors, the new controller, and we'll just do that in snippets um, rather than a continuous roll and so that we uh, are not uh, including the, the boat owners or any details about the, the, the boat. The owner's privacy is uh, pretty important to us. All right, here we are on day two uh, on the customer's boat. It's a PDQ 36. We've got the um, outboards already pulled out, the old 9.9 .9 Yamahas. I'll flip it around here so you can see that. So we got those pulled out of the motor well. We're cleaning up the motor well and getting it ready for the Bob's trim unit, which you can see installed there. The batteries and, pardon the best, the boat's under a lot of work. Batteries are, at least one battery is on this side. If you have a PDQ and you're looking for this type of setup, just be aware in order to get that battery, that E136, you gotta make this door just a little bit bigger. And on this side, we have another E163 by E Propulsion. Again, we had to trim this door up a little bit here to get that battery to fit in there. And we got all of the old controls. And uh, this is where the remote battery switches are gonna go for the e-propulsion batteries. And we're gonna put a plate here for the screen for the e-propulsion as well. All right, back to work. We're gonna get the uh, Bob's trim units in today, hopefully, and get the controls all installed. And uh, I think one more day, so we're looking at about three days total install on this on this boat because of the additional uh, trim units that um, take a little bit of time to finagle into the, uh, the motor wells. But um, other than that, it would have been two days, but um, yeah, I'm thinking three days on this one. All right, so we're here. We're almost now completely done with the installation, just wrapping up a couple of the um, electrical connections to the chargers to the shore power and uh, everything else is in so I'll give you a quick 
All right, pardon the light, it's getting pretty dark. Um, so the Na Twin Navy 6 are in on the uh, Bob's trim units. We got the dual controllers installed, the remote switch, switches for the batteries, the Bob's trim and tilt switches, and the e-propulsion display panel. Um, I'll just power these up a little bit to about, I don't want to give it too much power since we're tied up to the dock. So that's about 200 watts. Just as a reference. All right, take a quick look in here. Hopefully the light's not too terrible. But I got the battery and the charger in there. Sorry about the lighting. And still wrapping up a couple of connections here. Uh, the customer is going to haul out pretty soon, uh, a couple miles away. So we'll get some performance numbers in. And uh, if we get an opportunity, we'll catch that on video. Uh, otherwise, we'll uh, update this video with those performance numbers. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you are interested in repowering a catamaran or uh, any any sailboat really, uh, or a displacement boat of any kind, uh, and you want some information about what e-propulsion has to offer, give me a call uh, or shoot me an email, and uh, I'm happy to help. Take care now.